everybody, I'm Gaz Like This, is season 4, episode 20, and as you can tell, this is going to be a very different video. I'm super excited for this. So for this video, I'm going to be vlogging, uh, going to the Midwest Catholic Family Conference in Wichita, Kansas for the weekend. Please subscribe, please click the like button, and let's get into it. We have our booth all set up here at the Catholic Family Conference, and I am going to show you guys how we have it set up. So I introduce you to my booth, and while my brother's watching it, I wanted to introduce you to some of the other awesome booths. Uh, so this is Andy. Uh, he has awesome t-shirts, and I just have one question for you. What inspired you to start uh, making t-shirts? Uh, we love the evangelization factor of the Catholic t-shirt club. So we wanted to evangelize to more people, and every shirt is seen on average of about 3,000 times in its lifetime. So anytime uh, you wear a shirt, you're evangelizing for God's glory. And that's what inspires us to keep doing what we do. That is awesome, thank you. You're welcome. From like way over Hi there. everybody, I'm here with Scott Hahn and I have one quick question for you. Sure. What inspired you to start preaching Catholicism? Well, I was already a preacher as a Protestant and a Presbyterian minister and going deeper into the Bible, once I discovered that it was leading me to become a Catholic, I just longed to be able to share the same kind of excitement, only it got even bigger and better than when I, when I was a Protestant minister. And so, you know, it's sort of like, uh, how do you keep lava inside a volcano? It just, it just kind of exploded outside of it. it just, the good news that I always believed as a Protestant just kept getting better and better. So how can you keep that inside? Awesome. Yeah, Thank thanks you. for your work. Hi everybody, I'm here with Lauren McGarry and uh, she is a long time conference goer. She's been coming here for how many years now? 17 out of the 19 years. That's a lot of years. Oh. What makes you want to come back to the conference each year? Like, what do you like about it? Well, like eight different things. But I think what I really just love is the whole environment that for like a whole weekend you are with all of these speakers that are speaking the truth of the faith and um, it's great for my little my little children to be able to see you get this sense of how universal the faith is and um, just thousands and thousands of, of people trying to live the Catholic faith the best that they can and that's really motivating for me um, to be able to try to go to the next level with my own faith. So I am here with Dave from True Manhood and he has an awesome podcast channel. I'll link them in the description. I really recommend you check it out. And what inspired you to start True Manhood and start your own podcast? Yeah, well True Manhood came from just the desire to learn what it means to be authentically manly and that is being like Jesus um, in all ways and all things and I just try to get stuff out so I've got a few videos on YouTube all kinds of stuff just to help people know what the truth is that's awesome thank you very much cool good luck hi everybody I'm here with Mike Gibbs who has awesome on here And I will uh, link it in the description. Uh, his paintings are awesome. I really recommend them. And I have a question for you. Sure. How do you keep religion, like how do you keep God involved in religion? Oh, wow. That's a great question. I've never been asked that before. A uh, couple different answers for you. I uh, have been doing Catholic artwork for a number of years now. And uh, I guess the work is out there. And so people hire me to paint this subject matter specifically. But I guess personally, uh, a while back, I when I when I started creating uh, and being commissioned to create Catholic and faith-based artwork, I had a sense that it might be maybe the highest form of artwork because what could be more important than our faith? And what's more important than God? And to create things that are inspired by God or uh, put forth the message of our faith and hopefully inspire people towards God, uh, what could be more important than that? Nothing is awesome. You're welcome. Thank you. 
I just we just set out the koozies. We're going super fast. This is actually awesome. All the positive uh, feedback that we've gotten. So I'm here with Zach and Vanessa, and uh, they are here at the Catholic Family Conference. And have you guys liked the conference so far? Yes. Yeah. And uh, what has been your favorite part? Hanging around with people who are nice and helping them. Helping people who are nice? Yeah, that's awesome. And uh, what has been your favorite part? When I'm hanging out with the other kids in the um, room. Fifth grade. Hanging out with the other kids in fifth grade? Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hi everybody, I'm here with Tim Staples, uh, an amazing speaker. I'll link him in the description. And I just have one question for you. What inspired you to convert to the Catholic Church? Well, it was kind of a long, circuitous route. But basically, as a fire-breathing Pentecostal, I encountered a Catholic who was ready, willing, and able to defend his Catholic faith. And he challenged me to study Catholicism from Catholic sources. So that challenged me to launch into studying Catholic sources to disprove Catholicism. And that's how I became Catholic. That's an awesome story. Thank you very much. All right. So guys, I just got back to the hotel room and it has been an awesome, amazing weekend here at the Midwest Catholic Family Conference. I highly recommend coming here. It's fun for the whole family. I also recommend you check out uh, all of the speakers that were uh, involved in this video that I interviewed Tim Staples Scott on uh, and the painter who was also involved in this interview, uh, Mike Debus. He was he is awesome uh, with his work. I recommend all who are in here and the Midwest Catholic Family Conference very much. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. It's been such an exciting weekend. Uh, don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below and the bell next to it. That way you get notified when I come out with a new video. Also, don't forget to like the video. And don't forget to check out all three of my social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. The link to all three of those will be in the description and in the comments below. Also, don't forget to go to kid-catholic.com slash shop and order your very own Kid Catholic t-shirt right now. And go to kid-catholic.com and check out my website. That was Kid Catholic Season 4, Episode 20. I'll see you guys next week. And hi, Brielle.